Breaking down and discussion, the Mayans means one or two things. You're going to talk about something good and you're going to talk about something bad. And in this video, we have to break down the trailer and we've not really much left to break down, but we do get a clip of Emily heading for the grocery exit door. Oh my god. We're here to talk about it, we're here to break it down. Right, so let's just use logic here, right? I hope she gets it. I hope she gets through that door, jumps in the car in episode 4, and we don't have to see her again. But of course, it's not going to be that simple, right? We've seen photos, like, earlier, like, about a month ago, maybe two, a month and a half ago. It, it appears there's a scene where Easy meets with Glendo and Emily. Now, I don't know how that's going to come about, because to me that makes no sense, right? And to be honest, maybe it was literally the actors were just eating somewhere on their lunch. Could be that, right? It, it could be as simple as that. It could be. But as we're looking at this scene, right, Emily's escaped Miguel before, and he caught her up, killed her sister, even though we don't... I feel like Varen wasn't dead, that probably would have been revealed by now. We're episode three, I mean, we're three episodes in, I feel like that probably would have been revealed. Um, but with Emily, we've, we've already seen her on the run, we've already seen her working a shitey job, we've already seen her on a bus, we've already seen her at the pishest payphone known to man, we've already seen her at the, the shittiest apartment known to man. Why the fuck do we need to see her go on the run again for Galindo? And also, what's stopping them from catching her this time? Right? Maybe you could argue that uh, she's got no sister now this time to help her, so he can't tie into that contact. But you try to tell me that they wouldn't end up finding her again. What, what, what is she going to do different this time The result in her not getting caught? I'm pretty sure she even created new identities in all last season and still got caught. So... Like, who honestly cares about Emily at this stage? We don't, and, and people, you see people commenting on this channel, like on Mayan's Instagram or their Facebook or on Twitter, and they're like, oh, Emily, this is great. I mean, what? Come on, just give us the club, man. Everyone has to be thinking, why is, like, Emily getting this amount of screen time? I'm not saying it's been monumental. I mean, in terms of monumental screen time, that's been Letty and Hope, which, again, why? I mean, at least we had Lita. I'm not a fan of Adelita, as you guys know, but... At least she's like working for the cartel, right? And she's being tasked in like a trailer or two, maybe not this episode, but the next one. Like we're killing somebody high up. Whether that be easy or whether that be the other leader, the other cartel. I mean, at least that's relevant to the fucking story. What is Emily doing here? We don't care. Oh, I mean, this slow motion zoom in of the exit door at the grocery store. What? What are we doing? Come on, sort it out. We want to see... We, I mean, we didn't get Sam Dino in episode... Oh, but we got Terry for 30 seconds. I, we want Isaac. We want Sam Dino. Fuck it. If you want to bring Sam Crow back while you're at it, please. Pretty please, Elgin James. Can you please do that, son? Because I don't get why we're getting, like, Emily sitting with Easy at a swing set. Easy, right, is going to have the... Pre I mean, he's got the pressure now of producing all these bricks for coal. He's at war with Sam Dino. He's went, to, he's went with war with the cartel. Um, the Iron War, I've got a beef with him now since, I mean, the Mayans literally battered their VP. That probably spells bad news for Creeper. S news soon is going to break out about a rat. But, and that puts a target on Easy's back. And here he is trying to figure out for his ex-girlfriend from about fucking 10 years ago where he's going to put this getaway car so her and a, and, a, and a kid that's not even his can escape. Come on, can no one see a problem with that? It sucks. I don't care if she escapes or not. Because we all know, even if she gets out that grocery shop door, she'll probably get captured within an episode or two. And if she doesn't get captured within an episode or two, and they actually drag it into the finale, well, I'll tell you what, fuck this show, because that's absolute garbage. I mean, the only way they could make this Emily escape interesting if Easy tasks Nestor with putting the getaway car there or something, and then he just drives her straight to Galindo, and he like, and that's him. He's no longer a man. He rips the patch off, and he's back with Miguel. That's it. That's your whack. Do not care about this. And I hope, I hope, I hope, the screen time for these characters gets dwindled down.